Good morning. This is Lorraine and welcome back to my channel. 2022 is well underway now and this is the time that some people make New Year's resolutions. Now I've never really been one to do that. I think New Year's resolutions are highly <laughs> overrated and underkept really. I think that you know in our lives we're we're called to improve every single day to always be aware that we want to be a better person. We can always improve. None of us is perfect and we'll never gain perfection either. So to start off the year, I wanted to share with you some of the things that really, that I want to improve in and that really annoy me in other people. So the first one is when people, when you say, thank you for doing that. And the person says, no problem. Well, of course it's no problem. It was never intended to be a problem. I never thought it would be a problem. I would never cause you to have a problem. <laughs> so I just, it just irritates me beyond. So I guess the proper response is to thank you is you're welcome. Anyway, that's just a small thing. They're all small things. Another thing is when people say, well, I'll try. I'll try to call you or I'll try to drop in. Well, that's, you might as well just not say anything. Um, if you say, I will give you a call at such and such a time to let you know if I can, or just simply don't say anything, or just say, no, I can't make it. If you say you're going to drop in or phone, just do it. Don't try. And it's the same with, with anything. You know, I'll, I'll try to make a chocolate cake. Well, don't try to do it. Just do, do it. So that's another thing that just drives me nuts. So basically, do what you say you're going to do. If you can't do it, just say you can't do it. It's not, you know, just nobody expects you to do everything. You don't, you're not obliged to do everything. You can say no. It's easy to say no. People seem to find it very difficult to say no. And there's a very gentle, kind way to do that. But if you say you're going to do it, my goodness, do it. Be a person that you can depend on. And tell the truth. Don't, you know, exaggerate and don't elaborate and don't try to get yourself out of situations. Simply tell the truth. It's so much easier. Then you don't have to remember what you said to that person last time. Now, people who don't return things, including money, this is just, well, I have really, I think I lent one book recently to somebody that I trust with my whole soul. But before that, it was many, many years before I would, that I would lend a book because I would lend a book and I would never see it again. And I don't, I'm very uncomfortable going after somebody that will you return the book, will you return the book, you know, by the time you've done that three or four times. Anyway, if you're, if you're going to borrow something, return it and that certainly includes money don't lend money honestly don't lend money to anybody really including your family that's just my philosophy it's just such an awkward emotional issue money and um, if the person can't pay you back there's bound to be hard feelings there have been friendships long intense friendships broken because of this issue about lending and returning money. And be a positive person. Be a yes person. I don't mean to say yes to everything, to be reckless. But be open to new experiences. And look for the good in things. Don't look for what can go wrong. Look for what can go right. There's nothing more tiring and wearisome than a negative person who just finds everything wrong with the world and with everybody. So these are some little tips. They're as much for myself as for anybody, but I just wanted to share them with you at the beginning of this brand new year. It's very easy to be negative in this year, in this time of COVID. It's people are just fed up, um, tr you know, to trust what the government says, what the medical people say. It's very, it's a real challenge, but it's an opportunity to grow, to grow in patience, to just grow in acceptance. There's nothing that we can do as individuals about this situation except 
keep our own lives as happy and healthy and safe and loving as we possibly can. So thank you for joining me for this short video and I hope you have a great day and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.